Hello, my name is Max Drake. I'd like to talk to you about this app um, here that I'm doing. Uh, there's several categories and things that I've gone in there and I've actually just filled this, this out on the front page uh, by categories so that I can suddenly look on my freezer and I can suddenly say, what prepared meals have I got there? Oh yeah, it's rain tonight, I'll go. Or tomorrow um, I'll get a, a curry and rice or um, a pad thai or something uh, uh, th that I want and the dogs there or, or something what meat have I got and I can go through and check and suddenly thinking oh yeah we've got quite a lot of pork and he's got that um, we can give him that so um, in the actual sheet itself I've got the item I've got the quantity of it I've got the preparation whether it's cooked or uncooked which will give me a bit of a thought there's some snacks there which are pre-prepared some pies um, uh, spring rolls and stuff um, dumplings and uh, other things uh, so it, it's sort of a good reference I've just done it in, in this inventory manner just so that it's filtering by there so I've got the um, uh, one of Mark's ones which is basically the parent and children and the children go and look up there and uh, they come through uh, I've got this switch called false uh, and the next thing that you can do so inside here you can actually say well I, I went and took out a mince pie and I've scoffed it so I can use this switch and turn the switch to done I won't do it here I'll actually um, uh, go into the inventory sheet and I will go and look for um, uh, soup because I've got a couple of these items here which I have um, misspelled so that they're easy to find and these are the ones there's a couple of french onion soups and a pizza dough ball so i've got the soup and here's the one so if i just go through into here and i go and edit that um i want to pull this back a bit because i want you to see this full switch so if i then do a switch i then going to press done you will see that one of them will change to true and then it disappears Voila! Where it actually goes is a sheet called used. So I can actually see that there it is, it's come through and uh, it's got that one on. Uh, so uh, it's taken it from one sheet to another. So that's quite good from the point of view of, um, uh, I'm just going to say dough. So there's a pizza dough ball there as again another example going back to the inventory sheet there and if we just go and edit that and say yes we had that pizza and it was delicious thank you very much we're done with it now goodbye and it takes it away there it goes true and there it goes there and uh, this is basically similar to and the other one is I've got the schedule of the used on here. I haven't quite got it set up. I don't really need the date of it. I really need um, what it was so that I can see what I need to replenish. And then in the inventory, I can go back there and, um, uh, sorry, in the home page and actually see how many of the particular certain things that I've got. So if I'm in the shops and I'm suddenly thinking, oh, that's a good bargain price, maybe I should buy some more meat. And then I suddenly have masses of it. Now I don't really need it. Um, so that's the idea behind the app and I've got to use it a bit more. Um, I've got a little bit of a glitch on here at the moment. Um, uh, if it's filtering on that page by one, then it doesn't filter by the other. Uh, and I won't discuss that at this point in time. But what I've done now is that basically on oh, that was a point when I was doing this one here I wanted to show this thing right in the middle so it wasn't one at the top of which there's a few items and it wasn't an item at the bottom that it was coming and skinning on the bottom it was one right in the middle and you see that it goes through because basically what that's doing is an iterate I iterate from line 13 all the way down and the reason for line 13 is just because I'm defining these of children of these ones here and then that works through um, uh, so that's the idea of what's actually there and it says iterate through there if that column which is false turns to true 
then go and move that and blow that, delete the row in here and go and copy that row across into the other sheet, which are the two sheets, uh, the from sheet and the to sheet are actually identified at the top here. Um, bit of a messy code, I was more concerned about doing it. So this follows on from defects app, which I actually had where the project manager after the trade person or the designer put a switch on something, the project manager had to go into the um, actual spreadsheet itself and move items from one sheet across to another. This is automated. So again, if we just go back into the inventory and just go soup, and then we got that one there again, and just to, um, do it because it's so fun to see. Um, as I said now again, this is halfway down. It's not, it's not so this has got to iterate through all of those items, find the one that is now, sorry, so I've changed this from false to true. And then it does it. So if you actually have, yet you've sort of neglected it, you've been good for two or three days, you've been taking stuff out of the freezer and you actually haven't been playing with the app at all, you can actually just go back and do a little bit of a catch up and just suddenly saying, yeah, I've, I've, I've used up all of those things now, so so that's fine. I actually find this search in, in the inventory or this search inside the glider very nice. It works very nicely as well. Um, the other thing that I just want to tag here is now I actually, for, for my choices, I go and put them on a separate sheet called choice so that I'm always referencing. So if I'm actually using it in one sheet, I can actually just copy and paste it into another one and it works quite nicely from that point of view. And the other one that I'm doing now is I'm just, um, if I've gone and used certain videos and this person's video here, uh, it was one that I watched um, on, and have I got any of his stuff open? This chap here, very, very good. Um, if I just open one of his videos up, uh, learn Google Spreadsheet. Okay, so, He's so um, very good in this, this one here that I actually did the iterations of. So I followed his iterations to actually develop this bit of code so that I could do it because it must be JavaScript and me uh, are not best of buddies. Anyway, I hope that's been of interest to you. I'll post all of these up with the video and I'll put them onto the um, Glide app uh, community post as well. If this has been of an interest to you, can you please give it a thumbs up? Thank you very much for watching.